recording this on my birthday, but I'm going to post it later, but it's pertinent to the story. <laughs> so I am turning 33 today and we are going through some big shifts. I felt some heaviness this morning and I was like, that's fine. It's emotions. And I started watching RuPaul's Drag Race and she was saying how you have to let the old version of you die. And that's when the new version of you and your new life starts. And that's not something I'm new to because I've done that over and over again. I different person all the time. <laughs> this time was different. When she said that, I felt something internally shift within myself. And what that was, was my old narrative and how I see myself, it collapsed. I've been having a lot of things come up recently, like being pushed to change my name. I have never resonated with Brittany, even since I was a small child, but like the fear of other people's perceptions or even my perception of self has kept me from doing it. So I have picked a name that I'm going to move forward with so you can hear at the end of this video. <laughs> and I'm super excited because it feels so right to me. I also realized that in the past, I really struggled with my self-confidence and self-esteem and I built this mask around myself. Like I'm that bitch. Okay. And I had this fake it till you make it attitude and it really helped shift me into a new version, but then I lost it for a very long time. And this morning I realized like how much I had really lost it. Like I have great confidence and self-esteem now, but there's still something inside that's like having to prove my worth to myself. Like I don't care what other people think now, but my opinion of myself does really matter. Today was the first time that I have felt all the way down to my core worthy of solely existing, just for existing. I said to myself, we are reclaiming back that power, that multi-dimensional magic that we have within ourselves. We are fully presenting as that version. <laughs> and so the name I'm going forward with is Sage. I also want to start expressing my queerness more. I feel like everybody knows, <laughs> but I don't talk about it that much because it's something that I've been still figuring out. And to me, like being a multidimensional being, labels don't always fit with me. Also Aquarius, <laughs> going against the grain. But if you had to put a label on it, that's what it would be. And so I'm going to start talking about that more and start carrying that I am that bitch attitude. It is not an attitude. That's who I am. Like knowing my worth through and through and loving myself through and through. So thank you for listening to my TED Talk today. And I am now known as Sage. <laughs>